Good morning, everybody. As we say, in our country, the bird won't jump from the branch, asking the branch the right to jump. So I take the floor here without asking my uh, chairman. So I want to thank all the organizers. I want to thank Chad for the warm welcoming as well as the organizers of this workshop. Because coming here, we thought we would see how Chad organizes the integration of both vaccines in the uh, immunization system. but. Getting here, we understood that it was much more of a forum dealing with uh, things that are interesting for all of us and for which we all have the opportunity to learn and to review our introduction plan. So we've learned a great deal and we we'll go back home with much hope because the objective of the health systems is to improve the well being of people and uh, reducing morbidity and mortality. For Guinea, we know now we can avoid illness for more than 500,000 people in our country by 2030 and avoiding spending uh, unnecessarily money and the amount of which can be 10% of costs that could be invested in treating our children. So I think it's worth the pain. And we are even more happy because we know that we are supported by all our partners, uh, WHO, Bill and Menina Gates Foundation, the World Bank, UNICEF, so we've spoken with them. Now we have identified our obstacles and thanks to the support of the partners, we will commit more and better. We intend to go fast, but we've also understood here that even if you want to speed up, you have to be realistic to choose different options. And there is a time frame you have to uh, respect. So some people have come willing to uh, start the process in 2024, but now maybe we're more realistic if we think of 2025. And my uh, and now maybe as my colleague from Chad um, has done. Uh, I will give the floor to the president of uh, NITAC of Guinea. Good morning, everybody, as my colleague from Chad uh, has come here to speak up for the first time. It's my first time, too. And I think that during this workshop, I've reached 100 percent of my objectives. The objective of our NITAG for this workshop was to know the procedures for validating PCV and uh, rotavirus vaccine. We've had the opportunity to meet our, our partners. As the national coordinator said, I know that the different presentations of WHO, UNICEF, and the other speakers have allowed us to understand what is awaiting. Recommendations are one thing, but it is also important to understand what has to be done, the context, year after year, in order to reach our goal. I think we also have had the opportunity to meet the South African 
university offering an opportunity very interesting for all the stakeholders in order to provide them with the right information in order for us to work as best as possible and achieve our objectives. I also take advantage of this opportunity to think from the bottom of my heart, the organizers of this workshop, in particular Fondation Marieux, the uh, Sister Chat Republic for its uh, welcoming and all the participants. And as a conclusion, I think we all have to go on working and networking of the different night tags in order to share our experiences and understand each other better in order to benefit from uh, other experiences. I'm very happy and I think it's also important to give a feedback to our colleagues who were not as lucky as we are uh, and who couldn't be here with us.